seeing sanctuary all overgrown like that? Hey, sugar. I've got something important for you. In case you didn't know my son, Scooter, he... Well, he died recently. He went out the way I always saw him. As a hero. I've said my own goodbyes. But before we rushed off Sanctuary, I found an echo in Scooter's things. Says it's for you, Vault Hunter. Hey, Vault Hunter! In the highly likely event that I got deadened by, like, a dinosaur or a big explosion or something, I here's to, by name, you, the executioner of my last William Bestment. Oh, my sweet dumb boy. Okay, first off, collect all my best girly mags for posteriority. Once you get all them skin rags, you make sure and find them a good home, okay? How's Helios looking these days? Vault Hunter! Could you help me out with a recruitment Let's drive? Just get this so, out of the way. Oh, that yes, attack pretty much killed or mutated my whole clan in the Helios the Hellions. Did you show the bandits in the area that we're the best by, you know, slaying enemy bandit Don't leaders and staking claim to the territory? Fun. Basic stuff. That's a real letdown. There are some tough old bastards in the crew. But hey, it comes with the territory, right? Bandit life! Those organs didn't do nothing. I tried sprinkling blood over everything, but my hose clucked. Ellie said if you talk to the plants, it makes them grow. So here goes. Grow! Now! Yeah, I think that worked a little. Visit my vending machine if got a little job for you, if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. The way I see it, I don't need me some kind of license to help people, and I think I'm just the guy to cure these mutated husks of the men they used to be. But I'm gonna need some mutant matter to study. Could you bring me whatever falls off them green bloods you're fighting? Then I'll cure this thing faster than you can say, Hey, that guy doesn't have a medical license. Get him out of this children's hospital. Just between you and me, I also got a bit of a ulterior motive for my little project. You see, I'm trying to catch the eye of that tennis lady. I like to cut her little graduated cylinder, if you catch my meaning. I should have seen Hector's betrayal coming. 
In my studies, I discovered that iridium technology has strange effects on biological organisms, like the spores found in your lungs in the greater Pandoran atmosphere. Oh, what a fool I've been! I assure you, I never intended to hurt anyone. Hector told me he dreamt of a better Pandora, a paradise, he said. I shared that dream, but not like this. Oh, the cost is too great. to a few bandits about that cursed haunted mine. Rumor is, some doll miner dudes got trapped in there back in the day. But Stanton Doll decided to seal the mine instead of rescuing them. No bandit has set foot near there since. Bring me back something nice! Stepping foot in that mine is my red line, Raider. Warning you now, don't cross it. Yes, sirree! This whole place would completely fall apart without old Claptrap keeping things humming along. I had a great idea! Since Hector started a war, I'm thinking we try our hand at a bit of war profiteering. First, I need you to take these very special chain blocks to the doll mine. Hector and his people are totally screwing up the Pandoran economy. So let's remake that economy in my image. The chain of blocks is the basis of my new economic model. Just go with me on this. In part 13 of my genius double cross plan, I'll offer Hector all my intel on the Crimson Raiders in exchange for a ton of cash and the rank of Vice Admiral. Once aboard Sanctuary, I'll murder every new Pandora soldier. But instead of killing Hector, I'll make him my Vice Admiral, and then I'll rename his army... The Claptrapper's Brigade, which I'll use to cross all the names off my enemies list. <laughs> In time, Hector will start to trust me, perhaps even love me. Then one day, he'll tell me I'm the son he never had. And as he leans in to hug me, I'll give him a swift punch to the grundle, single-handedly winning the war, saving Pandora, and finally earning me the adoration I so clearly deserve! My plan is flawless! <laughs> Unless someone finds this Hecko. I gotta find a place to hide it. This patch of sand looks good. Sand hides everything. Good old sand! Bring him 
was a mistake. I'm gonna bury you, Raider. The entrance to my laboratory is just through the mine. Simply follow the turn back now signs. But don't worry, the miners who were trapped inside died horribly decades ago. Boom! Curse haunted! Called it! Activate the elevator to the lab. Scarab 191 lost a lot of good men after Dahl left us down there to die. That's when I realized if Pandora was going to become our paradise, we were going to have to make it ourselves. You won't take that from me. Bring the blood sample to me so I can begin synthesizing the antidote. It will be nice to see another human face again. While foraging in an abandoned facility, I came across some old doll miners dying of a strange illness. When I explained I was a scientist, their leader welcomed me with open arms. He was most curious about my research into biodomes. Before I left, he asked that I inspect the health of his men and ease what suffering I could. Apparently, they survived a mining accident of some kind. The 
This is Colonel Hector of the Dahl 191st. Corporate command has recognized our sacrifices and promised us a backwater station. Far from any battle theaters. Got the location of our new post today. Brass says it's a paradise. The planet's name is Pandora. Sounds nice. Cassius, you skag suckling traitor. You could have had a spot in paradise. But there's no room for cowards in the new Pandora. Let's see how long you can hold your breath. No! That maniac is releasing the gas directly into the facility! I, I can fix this! Oh, one moment! Containment failure! Emergency lockdown initiated! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I, I believe we're in the clear. Most of the facility should still be safe to traverse. Make your way to me, Vault Hunter. Decontamination complete. Almost to Pandora. I missed the thrill of the fight. Tidal pool massacre on June Pi 7. Pushing back the May holes from Scalamirte on Eden 6. But it's for the good of my man. <laughs> Happy bastards can't stop clamoring about paradise. Green hills, potable water, not being clawed to death. Shoot, I'm starting to believe in myself. Pandora, here we come.
before meeting the Scarab 191 crew, I feared my life's work died the day Atlas abandoned me. But the spores I've discovered in these miners' lungs fill me with incalculable joy. Hector has promised he will retrofit this door facility with state-of-the-art equipment if I use my research to make Pandora more inhabitable. We have titled our new endeavor Project Paradise. an emergency console in that containment room. You can vent the remaining gas from there. monstered up. What a sad fate that would be. Ah, yes, oh, the armed guards. <laughs> Please take care of them, Vault Hunter. Decontamination complete. like you gathered enough mutant parts from a first experiment. Bring them on back to me when you get a chance, and we'll see if we can't cure one of these sorry bastards.
If this is paradise, then I'm a one-armed jabbermont scratching my ass at the moon. The moment we step foot on this shit he planted, Dahl formally transferred the 191 to a mining crew beneath Mount Scarab. Not paradise, but we'll make do. The boys are about ready to start a war with their own, but I told them that mining is better than dying. Wish I believe that. I've always found it odd that this planet's soil lacks the essential building blocks for mature flora. Yet, while the land itself resists growth from desert to tundra, I've discovered a way forward. Upon careful observation, the same spores that fill these men's lungs can be found in the greater Pandoran atmosphere. Take a deep breath, Cassius. Measure twice. Change the world once. Closer. <laughs> ah, the thrill of scientific progress. Stimulating, isn't it? You know, when this is all over, I think I might take your scientist up on her lascivious offers. <laughs> through of a most gaseous variety. While observing the miners, one expelled an indomitable vapor. Ooh, how it reeked. But as I gagged and gasped, I realized that this unsolicited fart is my path forward. I will develop a gas to spur Pandora's indigenous spores into a period of accelerated growth. Now, the question becomes how to ensure this gas cannot affect humans. Remember, we're always open.
If you got the money, I'll save your gall darn life. Catch you later. It's turning. Finally some luck. One of my boys found a shiny alien trinket, showed it to the brass. They promised us all promotions and big plots of land. I went back and told the men they couldn't contain themselves. Why, well, we cracked open some rations and had ourselves a good old time. We, we was like a bunch of jabbermon drunk on stock wine hollering in the new day. <laughs> Let me know if anything catches your eye. Don't die. I need your business. Cassius, you book-reading son of a bitch, your services are no longer needed. Stand down. I am in the emergency containment room. <laughs> Fear not, I absolutely escaped the effects of the gas, and I can assure you I am using absolutely quite disingenuously. That is where you will deposit your friend's blood sample. <laughs> now, scan the sample. <laughs> the antidote will cause his spores to enter a remissive state. <laughs> it will also provide you immunity to the gas. Scanning biosignature. Oh, drat. <laughs> Your friend's blood was compromised by the decontamination chamber. <laughs> I can fix this. Oh, I can fix this. It's no good. We will need another sample. There's no time for anything else. Open the emergency containment room. I'd hope to use the antidote on myself, but we need infected blood. So instead, I must make one final request. instructions for synthesizing the antidote. First, collect my blood. to the aptly named antidote machine. Quickly!
biosignature. That antidote will save your friend. It will also provide you immunity to the gas, just to be entirely clear. I love that sound. Blood is as titillating as his mind. I will begin synthesizing the antidote immediately, and then Cassius will be inside all of us. You did it, killer. Mordecai's gonna live. Now, let's take back our home. Sanctuary's still tethered to the facility. See you up top. Wouldn't celebrate just yet, Raiders. The gas is ready. Paradise is coming. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You must stop Hector. I never thought I'd say this, but... Pandora is fine the way it is. Oh, and if you are still here, Vault Hunter, you tell Hector that Cassius said, Eat my farts! Oh, no, no! Tell him I... Uh, books are rad! Wait! Oh, oh, I've got it! I, I've got it! I award him a medal for biggest douche rocket on Pandora. Point Cassius! Find Hector. I'm on my way. Enjoy your last breaths, Raiders. I can feel the roots of paradise taking hold. Tracking you, VH. Looks like you're in the bowels of Sanctuary. Get ready for a right powerful stink. Better hurry. Sanctuary's spewing spores like a toddler on a bender. Ain't condoning it, but I seen it. I'm glad Scooter's not around to see sanctuary like this. If that overblown gas man Hector bind up her engine, so help me, I'm gonna smother him to death under a single tit! Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead adventurers.
time to mass produce the antidote. If you do not stop Hector from releasing the gas, he will cause a planetary mass extinction. I figured we had at minimum six or seven years before something like that.
Freaks in my armory? That's it! I'm not selling his soldiers any more weapons! You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. Goodbye, friend. If you shop anywhere else, I'll have you killed.